Hey guys, it's Trev here from The Wonder of Cichlids. Just coming to you with a quick video. I was scrolling through Facebook, watching somebody strip a female with a plastic tip, nearly breaking her jaw. So I just want to introduce you to the bulb syringe for those of you that like stripping females that breathe a lot, you know. This is the ultimate tool for stripping females. You prime it with water, you leave the female out and you wash the water past her gill plate, she spits out the fry. It's a quick effective method. You put the female back in the bucket or separate her from the fry, but it's quick. At the end of the day, we owe it to our wet pets to give them the best possible care and not to stress them all as much. And when you're stripping females, man, it stresses them out, so let's be fast, effective and efficient about it, you know? So get yourself one of these, I'll do a quick video. I usually do them on the ground because if a female slips out or jumps, she can't go very far on the ground. If you're doing it on a table, cabinet or something, whatever, if she jumps or she slips or she falls, she's gonna hit the ground hard. So for the purpose of the video, I'm doing it on the ground. Hopefully I can get a good video. But here you are guys, CBS, Walmart, any baby store, bulb syringe. It'll definitely help your female, you know, and um, there'll be less stress in her and you won't damage her mouth or her jaw either, okay? So let me know what you think of the video, guys, and um, try it out. Let me know what you think, okay? Take care, guys, and enjoy the video. Thank you. So we've got the female, nice and gentle. She did spit out a couple. Make sure that the bulb syringe is primed and has water in it. Get her up. Water goes past the gills. And that's mama spitting out the fry. No stress, it's quick. Quick, fast, effective, and there's mama's fry. So another little tip, when you're putting mama back in the tank, segregate her, because she's going to be a bit hungry and a bit weak. And now that you put her back, you don't want the other fish sticking on her. So it's always good to get a breeder basket, a plant basket, and uh, leave her settle in there, give her a bit of food later, let her get her strength back for a few days and then release her back into the main tank, okay?